Hey YouTube friends, this is Quaff. Today I'm gonna share with you a video on how to do a lipo modification for your unique um, steady grip or hand grip um, for the gimbal. Um, you know, to be honest with you, this is not the, the the steady grip was not one of the things that really attracted me to the unique. I mean, I I thought it was a gimmick. But um, when I started using it, and I've been filming my kids with it, I, I found it to be really, really cool. Um, I mean, it, it, it just basically is a gimbal for a handheld gimbal so that you can, um, so you can create uh, videos that, uh, you know, without any, any handshaking. And uh, now that I've been using it, I'm sold, and I actually um, will not videotape anymore without the gimbal uh, so I'm it made me a fan but um, the one thing about it that uh, really sucks is that it requires eight um, NICAD batteries okay uh, if you use alkaline batteries then the uh, you know you, you get 15 minutes of usage for it which sucks so um, and you know the NICAD batteries they're just a pain uh, to keep charged so I did what any enterprising drone pilot would do, and um, I modified it so it will accept LiPo batteries. So here's the LiPo battery that um, I'm going to install, or I'm going to show you how to do the modification. Super simple. Um, with the LiPo modification, I have been able to get about an hour and a half of usage of filming, uh, fairly continuous. So that is a significant upgrade. Uh, so it's worth, you know, it, it, the modification itself takes you about 15 minutes. I'll show you to do it right now, but it's definitely worth the effort to, uh, to uh, get this done. So the only thing that you'll need is one of these guys, okay? Um, and th this is basically a servo extension um, cord. You can get this anywhere. I'll post a link where you can find them, but basically you can get them on any, any, any hobby store. And um, I got mine on Amazon.com, you know, basically where I get everything else. And then, uh, of course, the LiPo battery. And, you know, you kind of want to be careful about the LiPo batteries that you use. You notice this one is very flat, okay? And uh, when I open up the battery compartment, you see why. Uh, it just it won't accept any type of battery, LiPo battery. This is the one where I found that it actually fits because it's flat and you don't have to do any interior modifications to the, uh, to the uh, battery compartment. So my recommendation is, is uh, this battery, okay? And so here is how it's going to work. Basically, you know, you're gonna open up your grip um, and first you take the battery case uh, off and then there's there's these two these three rubber grips or I don't know yeah grips and they're easy to take off okay all you, they're they're not glued on so they're just held in place with uh, with um, these little things I can't I don't know if you can see it yeah these tabs so all you do is just take the tabs off pull it off and they come off real easy. And there's actually going to be four screws that you're going to need to take out. Okay, first screw is here. Second screw is right here. Third screw is here. And fourth screw is right here. So four screws, okay. There's other screws, but you don't need to mess with it because you, you just have to kind of, you know, once you unscrew it, you just kind of have to, um, you know, kind of pull on it a little bit and then you'll see that it comes apart pretty easy, okay? And I've taken up, I've taken the screws off beforehand because I don't think you really want to see me unscrew things. Uh, and then so the, the compartment, the battery tray, will come out very easy, okay? And of course it's connected with, um, you know, with these two wire leads. Red is positive and black is negative, okay? Super simple, okay? so. Then what you want to do is, um, and I've done this already. 
okay and the wires um, you got you actually have a pretty good length of wire so you don't have to worry about screwing up okay so you got the red wire and the black wire and then um, in here that comes out of the, the, the bottom of the grip so what you do is you take one of these guys you cut off you cut it off and then um, and then you just attach the brown wire to the black wire in here and the red, the red wire to the red wire there basically you know the red wire should always be in the middle okay you know some some of these um, some of these leads or servo leads that you'll uh, you'll find have black red and yellow okay the, the one I'm looking at the one that I, I see is brown and red but you know you just gotta remember brown goes to black red goes to red red always goes to red and you don't really need the um, the yellow which is a single wire you can just get rid of it and pull it out which 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 I've done so so the end result should look something like this okay um, you can you don't really need to solder it I, I soldered mine because you know I want to have a, a firm um, what do you call it um, connection and uh, so but you really don't need to you can just you can just twist the wires if if you're feeling lazy or you don't have a soldering iron so you have something like this okay and then um, then this is ready to accept a lipo battery okay and you want to make sure that your connection is is correct okay for instance you want to make sure that um, the black goes to the brown and the red goes to the red this is really important uh, because I don't know if this if this uh, device the, the steady grip has a reverse polarization uh, trigger or 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 safety switch but if it doesn't and I'm not going to test it then you're going to fry your your uh, uh, your uh, steady grip okay and then basically that is it I mean it is ready to uh, go and I will show you that it does work um, okay so I will turn it on of course I I this is for demonstration purposes I will put the screws back on so you can see and there you go and you can see that everything is working and you know the gimbal is operating as it should using lipo batteries um, I shouldn't have to say this but of course if you do this then you will, you will avoid the warranty uh, of your steady grip but um, anyway this is uh, something that I've I've done I've, I've been I've done and I've been getting good uses out of it hope it's been helpful to you and I will post links to the servo leads and also to the battery where I got the battery and it was from amazon.com so I hope this has been helpful to you if you like these types of videos and like and subscribe and I will produce more of them thanks for watching